Let's demonstrate some of the most elementary operations you can perform with SED on a Fedora system. So I have taken the liberty to prepare a simple text file uh, before we start, which looks like this, cat in file.txt. It just says three lines indicating their presence. Suppose I do sed-e slash and then uh, let's say is to r on the file and the output will go right on standard out and you see it changed only the first instance on every line so i even have var instead of this um, i can make a slight modification to the command if i put a g at the end of it and you see this time it caught every instance. I could also do something like this, uh, 1 comma 2 s, and it only did it on the first and the second line, but it left the third line alone. You notice that I don't have to use a forward slash. I can use many other characters. So here I'll use a colon and it makes no difference what I use. Now there is an option for SED to change character streams in place on the original file, but it's a pretty dangerous operation to do since you destroy the original file. So generally it's better to send the output into another file. So I'll do, I'll call that one out file.txt. Oh, I forgot to say in file.txt for input. So it hung. So now I can look at out file.txt. You see, and that's the output. And if I want to use the diff command to see the difference, I can do something like this diff in file.txt, out file.txt. And it shows me the two lines that have changed. Now you can do some pretty complicated things with SCD when you're trying to deal with special characters, including spaces and question marks and stars. Life can get pretty complicated. It, it, it respects everything in the world about what are called regular expressions, uh, which can look rather strange. But it's a daily tool that system administrators do to make elementary substitutions in files. So that's a little bit about SED.